Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. In this video we're going to look at the filterable portfolio module. And this works with your projects and obviously you have your projects in categories. And what this does is allow you to filter between the categories. Now we've just built a huge one of these for a client. Uh, it's a construction company and we had one of these that showed the various different all the projects they've done in the last five years or so and it, it separated them into sort of ranch style houses you know the various custom styles etc etc it worked really well for that there's all kind of applications for this now to make this actually work this may be kind of obvious you need to have projects on your site if you look in your in your WordPress dashboard here you'll see projects down here and this will only work on projects if you need to, you can actually convert blog posts. If you want to use it on blog posts, you can convert blogs to projects with a free plugin that's called Post Type Switcher. I'll put the link down below if anybody wants to use it. And you can also switch um, products as well to projects. So you can use your products with a filterable portfolio also. Now for this I just threw a bunch of projects in there and I created categories, really interesting categories, one through four, just to demonstrate what's going on. And to create your categories in your projects, just go down to categories and create the categories that you wish. Right, well let's build one. Now that we've explained how it's built, well, go ahead and do a new page. Just going to call it filter. Going to use the Divi Builder. I'm going to build from scratch. I'm going to put in a single row, single column. Now Divi comes as default with all these plugins. You don't get these dark blue ones. That's from Divi Supreme modules, different plugin. And if you've got WooCommerce installed, you get these extra WooCommerce ones as well. And what we want today is filterable portfolio. So let's go up to there. There it is. Now I think I've got 11 products counts. Uh, that's a nice round number. So decide how many you want to display. I'll put it to display eight on here. So we've got pagination at the bottom so I can show you what that is. Then select the categories you want. And there it is, it's put them in. And similar to the blog post, it kind of puts them all in full width or as standard. Now, if you go to the design tab, we're on content at the moment. If we go to the design, you can change that to grid if you want to, which to me tends to look a little bit better for this sort of thing. And there we are. And it's pretty self explanatory. There's the category name underneath, three, four. If you click on one, you're just going to see all category one, two, etc. And all is obviously all. But of course, with Divi, you can go in, you can customize things however you want. If we go back to our content, we'll just go through these content. We went into there, elements. You can decide whether to show the title, categories, or the pagination. Pagination is the page count that's just underneath here. If I move this over to this side, perhaps it'll be easier right there. But I'm happy to leave all of those on for my little portfolio here. You can link the whole module to something. I really don't want to with this one. You can give it a background color if you want to and ad admin enable. For me, these are not necessary at the moment. So let's move on to the design. Layout wise, well, we looked at that and we've, we've decided on the grid layout. Overlay, when, when I hover over one of these images here, you'll notice that it's got a color overlay there. That's what that is. And you can go in, you can change the color to whatever you want. Uh, icon color, let's make that white. And let's make the overlay this crazy pink that the rest of this site is. I've got a free chrome color picker up here. Let's get that color. And let's put it in here. That's fully pink. And for my overlays, I kind of like to see some of the image through it. 
And to do that, just pull this right hand slider down a bit. It's the opacity or see throughness to wherever it is you want it. So you've still got a bit of a pink hue, but you can see the or part of the image behind. A little bit more perhaps. But of course, that's entirely up to you. And that's what the overlay is. And of course, you can choose whatever icon you want to put in there from Elegance Themes list here, and there's plenty of them. Image, you can go in there, you can put rounded corners or have a little board around it if you want to. I'm going to leave mine exactly as it is. I'm quite happy with that. You can put box shadow under there if you want to. But again, if I was going to have no title and no category, I'd probably leave a bit of box shadow under there. But for me, I'm just going to leave it simple at the moment. Of course, text wise, well, if we go into this one, this is for all the text. And if I go up, notice our paginations on the right there at the moment and our filter is actually on the left. These align left. If we align our general text to the middle, you see that goes into the middle. All our text in here has gone to the middle also. And the pagination has also gone to the middle. Now you can also go in and align things separately if you want to. Now you may have noticed when I hover over these elements here, you see these little blue dots with a white paintbrush? If you click on that, it'll take you to the element, to the design parts of whatever element it, it is. And it saves a bit of time looking through the module here. So for instance, that's our H2 title. Let's give it the same color as our like, crazy pink, I guess. As you can see, it changes it. And of course, like anything else, you can change your text size, the boldness, and the font. Divi comes with, I think it's over 200 different font faces. So you're never stuck for a font with Divi. And if you hover over it, it'll show you the fonts. But I'm gonna leave mine on the default there. That's absolutely fine for me. Perhaps make it a little bit heavier. And let's take that text down a little bit. There we go, something like that. And of course, you can do the same with your filter criteria text up here if you if you want to. Again, we'll just go in and give it that color there. You can capitalize it and do exactly what you want to do with it. Moving on down, meta text. This is our meta text there where it says the sort of categories and what have you. And again, you can affect those however you will. That's fairly ugly. Let's just leave that like that. Pagination text. Obviously, that's on numbers down here that will take you to the next page at the bottom. And it's exactly the same. You can choose whatever color you want those to be. Put it in there, size, etc. Okay, so we're pretty much done with this sizing wise. Don't really want to do too much with that. Sizing, if you go into an element, if you didn't want this to be the full width of the page, you could pull it down to half the width and then you can align it where you want it in the middle, on the right, or on the left. I'm happy for mine to take up the full width of the page. Spacing, I'm not going to add any spacing left and right, top and bottom. It's absolutely fine where it is. That's just padding and margin. Don't want to put a border. Don't want to put any box shadow on. I mean, you could put a little border around your, your elements here if you felt like it. But I think mine look better just as they are. I'm quite happy with that. Okay, I'm not going to add any box shadow or filters or transform or animation. I think we're good to go. So let's have a look and see if our little filtered portfolio is going to work. I take this up, save the changes, save the page changes, and let's exit the visual builder. And here we are. Here's our ugly looking little portfolio here but it should function perfectly and when we click on it it should take us to the project item itself which are duplicate blog posts of our blog so there you have it there is how to use the filterable portfolio module with the Divi theme it's a great thing to have on your site and fun to use so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. 
ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.